spite, I just might flood these streets. Oh. Hear the freedom in my speech, got an onion from Universal, read it and weep. Would have bought the nest of Brooklyn for free. We were born to die. State your name, occupation, and where are you from? I'm Fondor. I run the 400 hurdles for Brooks. Um, I'm a pro athlete, and um, I am from Buffalo, New York. Actually, it's a little tiny town called Akron, but it's right outside of Buffalo. How do you start your day? Um, honestly, I start my day off with breakfast. Usually, I wake up starving. Um, when I'm not hungry, I could like not eat for like eight hours, but when I get hungry, I have to eat like now. So when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is eat like a good breakfast. Um, usually a pretty hefty protein because I need something to get me through practice, but so I eat when I wake up. <laughs> do, so do a set of abs after, after or during breakfast preparation, I'll do like 100 abs. Where's your favorite place to eat? Favorite place to eat? I'd say in my house. I like my mom's cooking. I miss my mom's cooking. She used to make me breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and now I have to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner myself. So I, I miss my mom's cooking. Um, what's your drink of choice? My drink of choice? Well, I don't know if that's a good question. <laughs> um, honestly, I love an ice cold glass of water. I could just drink water all day. Right. Quote a song or movie. Pertaining to my life or, or what? Anyway. Um, what a song or movie? Right now I'm pretty pretty into, um, oh, it's a song it's called Born to Die. I've been listening to it on repeat on my iPod. And uh, it starts off with, um, feet don't fail me now. Okay. Um, what do you keep on the side of your bed before you go to sleep? Something that you must have there. I actually have a strangely enough, a Bible day by day, and um, I say strangely enough because I don't consider myself to be Christian, so, um, but yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a, a small way to get through a Bible, it's like a small Bible verse every day. What's your favorite place to go to be alone? Um, my favorite place to be alone would be like in my apartment nice and quiet, everything's clean, everything's put away, and just relaxing on my couch. I like to do that. What's your weapon of choice? My weapon of choice? Myself, man. I'm the best <laughs> weapon there is. When you're barely over five feet tall and you're less than 100 pounds, you know, hovering around 100 pounds, people don't really take you seriously, so it's a hidden weapon. <laughs> What's the last movie you've watched? Actually, the last movie I watched was The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. I saw it in theaters. Pretty good, I must say. Uh, I think I'm going to go see it again. Right. Um, have any heroes? Do I have any heroes? Yeah, actually, strangely enough, I didn't have um, like a motivator or a person of inspiration for a really long time. And I thought that was kind of sad. Like, everybody should have one. And I know it's kind of weird because now I kind of run like next to her. Not necessarily in races, but... Um, I always look up to Lolo Jones, man. Like, I can't, not because, not because of the American record. The American record's great. You know, all of her accomplishments are amazing. Not because she's pretty or because she tweets, like, ridiculously hilarious things. But honestly, because uh, she fell. Because she fell and she got back up. And that takes, that takes some guts to do. That takes a pretty big person to do that. When's the perfect time to say goodbye? Perfect time to say goodbye? You know, my agent told me something one time. He was like, you, you have to stop running after your best race. But the hard part is knowing when your best race is, right? Like, how do you know when to stop? And why would you stop after you just ran an amazing race? Why would you stop? How do you know that you're not going to go any further? But I guess saying uh, goodbye to track would be, you, ha you have to know. It's kind of like, like getting married or something like that. It's, it's a commitment. You have to commit yourself to being with track, and you kind of have to commit yourself to say goodbye. What do you regret? What do I regret? There's very little things I'd say that I regret. Maybe not caring as much about people's feelings, maybe. Uh, I wish that I could go back when I was like, like younger, when I was like in my teens, maybe like 18, 19, and, and be better to people. I don't think I always treated people right. What are your goals? My goals? 
All I can think about all night, all day is London 2012, man. That's all I can think about is those rings. I had a dream about them the other night, actually, that uh, Katie Fullett, if you know who she is, she runs the 1500 meter for Brooks. She's a great girl. I had a dream that uh, she made the Olympic team, and the, uh, the Olympic team, and um, and I was in it with her, and all this. It was it was really cool, but I don't think actually I don't think she goes by that name anymore. She just got married, actually, so it's not Katie Fullett anymore. But that's what everybody knows her by. So. That's the that's the goal right now. That's the only goal, you know. That and to be happy, to make good decisions, and to dedicate myself to to me and being happy. How would you like to be remembered? I think I'd like to be remembered as a hard ass. Honestly, um, I don't think that I was really born with talent. I don't think that I got here because I was given a gift. I think I got here because I worked my butt off, and. Uh, and I think that that says a lot towards, you know, a large array of people where you can really, and it's so cliche that you can do whatever you dream, but it has, it has a, a little truth to it. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no Hey